Now that we have the right set of features, let's choose the right algorithm for our uh, pipeline, for our model. So we looked at these before, but come over here to machine learning algorithms. And you might recall that we've got six options for regression models. Now, not all of these are relevant. Uh, the fast force quantile regression is not one that we'll use for this particular example. But the great thing about this uh, designer tool that Microsoft has created is they've made it so easy to simply try a different algorithm. All we have to do is come here and delete the linear regression pill and try another. And we're going to go through and just do this one at a time with each of them until we find which one gives us the very best uh, R-squared or FIT metrics. Now you might, uh, a question I get from students all the time is, well, can't, isn't there some tool that will just automa uh, automatically try all six of them for us? Yes, yes, there is. It's this one right here, automated ML. But we're going to save that one for another video. The idea, I just want you to understand the concept that there are different algorithms that can be used to train a model and come up with predictions. Uh, boosted decision trees are based on the decision tree uh, base algorithm, which doesn't depend on all of the assumptions of a linear regression. Data doesn't have to be normal. Um, it does, it's not going to hurt it. We can leave the apply math operation in there just fine, but it doesn't depend on the assumption that each variable has a normal histogram, so that's not necessary. Uh, it's also very fast, and it, particularly this boosted decision tree, or also called gradient boosting, is has become a favorite of many uh, data scientists because it's a great combination of both speed and accuracy. Others can get even more accurate, particularly the neural network regression, but they're very slow to train and take a lot more power. So I'm only going to use this one other algorithm, but I just want you to understand the processes we would go through and try each of these minus this fast force quantile, which isn't uh, relevant to this particular data set. Um, but we would try each of them and then just retain the one that gives us the best R squared. So let's go ahead and run this. All right, now that that's all done, let's see what this did for us. Click on Evaluate Model or right click. Preview data. Okay, my air is already looking a little bit smaller. Okay, it went up a little bit, 76.34%. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually make a note here on this uh, uh, pill. So I have down here under comment, I can click on this and say R squared equals, what was it again, 76.34%. And save that. And I'm going to move this up here, disconnect it. And since this is my, my best algorithm now, I'm, I want to save this and keep it here so I remember. And then I'm going to go through and try another one. Let's try the decision forest and see if this is any better. Both of these, we call them, they're also uh, compound, uh, not compound uh, algorithms. They're uh, oh, ensemble algorithms. That's what I'm looking for. Ensemble meaning it, it tries uh, various predictions and sort of averages them together into a, an overall, hopefully less overfit prediction. So anyway, let's go ahead and run this and see what we get for Decision Forest. All right, let's see how Decision Forest did. Evaluate model results. Uh, a little bit better, 77.91%. So uh, I'm going to click on here, go to the comments, R squared, 77.91%, or it wasn't 92, I can't remember now. So I'm going to stop right here because I think you get the idea. We go through and we try each pill, and then once we've settled on the best one, I'm going to say it's decision force regression. I'm going to delete all the others, and then it's time to proceed.